Okay, we got two missing kids. That's definitely suspicious at oh, this point. Oh, check this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Are you uh, sure about okay, that? Nice. Stop lying to her. My goodness, you'll go back Ready after to the find prize. The prize of eternal happiness. I'm scared yeah, for her. What is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish. All right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes, forever. No. Use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. Ah, that shovel. Okay. He got that shovel from under the ground, presumably hell, from the little mini flames I saw. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> um, this game is a little freaky because, you know, my name's Denise, but... This is nice. This is a nice beginning of this episode. Um, love our ladies here. A little creeped out, but nonetheless, appreciate the love and support for you tuning in to this week's Little Misfortune. Nah. Alright, so I have to find the grave that has a fish on it. Okay, let's see. Little Lulu. The first bug to ever strangle a man. The <laughs> what? To strangle? What kind of what kind of animals are we digging up here? This is the fish. What the hell? A pug str uh, strangling a man? Hmm. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm. Erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy. Wait a minute, what do you know about erotic novels? Nah, this is obviously a cat. A cat writing some sexy time literature? What the hell? It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's in Paul. Ew, yikes forever. I bet he was a dachshund. Nah, I don't think so. Cause only a dachshund would do shit like that. Ah, uh, let's see. Roger the Magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha, huh. I don't get it. It's okay, honey. Neither do I. Nah, then again, it I is early. I don't think so. I'll keep looking. Where is this fish? Maybe this one's the last one? It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Nah, too little information. Where are you going? The graves are waiting for you. Oh, really? I'm such a rude little lady. Let's keep digging. First of all, I don't even know which one to dig. And I'm not able to see the other grave sites. Um, hmm. Alright, so... Here's my thing. I'm going to dig the last one that says Mr. Bubbles, number one. Um, the name could signify the fish. And number two, it has little information, so. It says, Mr. Bubbles, hmm. Let's dig this one. I really hope this is the Congratulations, fish. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Internal happiness. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Signed, Benjamin. 
the fox. <gasps> oh no, he stole her prize. Now the voice guy is going to talk mad shit. And Miss Fortune here is going to be so sad about how the fox betrayed her. It didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. Bendito, she is so sad. <laughs> Look, there he is. Benjamin, did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Yo, what is this? Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. Okay, so we're gonna walk because I ain't running for shit. And look, another doll. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. I just realized on the patch in the stomach, it's a number three. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? Oh. I know. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. Huh. Alright, so let's go and get Benjamin to see exactly why he took the internal happiness. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. Alright. Oh my goodness, what is that? Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Okay. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Ooh, okay. What the I'll put hell? it back. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh, what does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Stop lying! Oh, really? You know what's Maybe about. Maybe there's some more nonsense around. Well, I'm gonna take this, so... The game of death. Question is, is this voice guy ah, making me that, play? That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes, don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. If she gets killed because of this, I'm coming after you. I swear to God. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. She is but so I need sweet and innocent. myself and for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? And she falls. Hey, yo, candles? Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? And he does not answer. Yo, this is a trap. Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. Wow, that's cute. I like that reference. Okay. Uh, then I drop it. Oh. Uh. Oh, never mind. What the hell is this? Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. Okay. Wee. 
All right, let's go. Oh. This is so suspicious to me. Falling into this cave. Oh, there you are. Benjamin. What are you doing, Benjamin? No, I'm not. Benjamin! Oh, Ooh, he bum-rushed me! What have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Excuse me? was a mistake, choosing her for this. For I mean, what? I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh, why are you talking shit about her? Misfortune. You're alive and well. That's great. Yeah. Where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See? I told you. That fox is evil. Yeah. Maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes. Give me a minute to figure this out, and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. Anyways... Why are these people wearing a mask? I don't get it. This whole thing is suspicious. I feel like the, the voice is my enemy somehow. Local artist GM retires after an incident. My son is missing. Let's see what's new. And I noticed that the paper the paper is dated 1993. Huh. Interesting. Let's see what else I can find. Well, the soup, you know, with the animals? Okay, this is cute. It's been a while since I went to the zoo. And look, look, the upper left-hand side. It's the bird flipping itself. I'm done. I actually made a quick Google search. What? I found out that the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so... We're taking the bus, but... How are we supposed to pay for said bus? Huh, how did I get to the town center? I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, yeah. Wait, my shoelace. Yo, what the hell? There. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Oh, uh, let's just keep going then. The fact that he was able to dent that lamppost. Hi, you look familiar. What? She's the girl that's missing on the poster. Missing. Wait a minute. Is that Daniela Bambini? You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. She's very Italian, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Uh, no. Okay. We just saw her ghost. She's dead. Stop lying to her. My goodness. Ah, oh, those people in the picture look so happy drinking their juice. Yeah, you could, uh, you could call it juice. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. 
Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hugs strangers by the dumpster. Is that oh. so? Mm-hmm. I don't even want to know what she meant by hug strangers in a dumpster. I'm just minding my own business at this point. That is so crazy. That Ooh. man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Well, I'm going to return it. I'm not going to steal it. Wait, sir. You dropped your wallet. What? What is that? What else did he is drop? Is that for me? A lottery ticket? Cool. Thank you. Well, have a look. Is it a winner? Oh, okay, so... You win. You win. You lose. Uh, Damn. No win. Maybe next time. I got so excited for a moment. One time mommy took me here and forgot me. I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was the raccoon. <laughs> well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. That is so depressing. How are you able to forget your kid in the store? <laughs> It seems like, what if, here's my theory, what if the mom tried doing that on purpose because she doesn't want to deal with the kid anymore? It says, let's face it, sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. That makes sense as to why so many people are wearing the mask. This whole town's depressed. I know who owns this store. Who is it? Casey's dad. <laughs> Who's Casey? A friend from school. Haven't seen him for a while, though. Lord have mercy. Look at all these missing kids. One, Look, two, even three, even more missing children four. posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. Exactly. I'm glad she is realizing some things because that is so creepy. Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? I have. Uh -huh. I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved. And that Benjamin should be ashamed. Exactly. That sounds great. Two minutes. It says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. Huh? What? So I'm good. Great. Hmm. Now that I think about it, maybe you'll need a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Uh. The fact that children under 15 get to ride the bus for free i mean america does not cannot relate wow i wish we had that back in my hometown should i sit down and wait do as you please okay thank you all right i'll sit, I'll sit. i'm a bit tired from all the walking you know i can imagine you have very small feet <laughs> yes i'm a little lady that's what I am. I'm a little lady. She I just love the way she talks. Are, they're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Ouch. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Nah, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. 
Oh, good thing the bus driver doesn't wear one. Love yourself? That's cute. Hmm. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiriba do kudasuka. <laughs> you are really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. What are you talking about? Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh, I love cows. So cute. <laughs> Alexia, play yeah, Moo by Doja Cat. Crap. Real for your life, little baby cow. That is so disgusting. Uh, unlucky things seem to happen all the time. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. Well, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh, didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No. No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without paying. Hmm, I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store and she got some free food. But I haven't got any tickets yet, so... That might not work. I see. That's well, horrendous. I have an idea. What the what hell's going on with her mom? Diversion. Hmm. What does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay. Let me think what I can do. Holy cow. Her mom is a piece of work. <gasps> a wolf. Can one pet the wolf? No. He looks really sweet. Just wait and see, Miss Fortune. Wait and see. <laughs> okay, I'll wait and then I'll see. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Yep, lots of missing kids. Hello, can I get inside for free? No. Huh, I guess not. Yo, he just ignored her. What an asshole. Any tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets. Only yucky. Okay. This is breakable. Like, like with a rock or something. Like, like a stone. Hmm. I think I came up with an idea. What if... Break the window, why not? What Do if something I break crazy. This window and make a hell of a noise. <laughs> wow, that's a wild idea, but I like it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let me try and break the window. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Run. All right, so while he's distracted by the broken window, I'm sliding in. Isn't this wonderful? We'll get to see so many caged animals. <laughs> caged animals? By the way, you did a great job not getting caught by the vendor. Very impressive. Uh, thank you. <laughs> but now, we should find out where the wolf exhibit is. Why? You mean Benjamin's cousin is a wolf? Yes. Remember, he knows where the fox lives. All right. All right, so we are on our way to see Benjamin's cousin. Question is, what if he doesn't tell us where he is? Look, birdie not mom. <laughs> oh, what? What did you just say to me? Give yourself a fuck. Oh, hey. Miss Fortune, watch that mouth. I don't care. This bird is mean. Oh dear. We need to get your happiness back as soon as possible. <laughs> Give yourself a fuck. I like that. I'm gonna use that from now on. That shit's funny. Pirate parrot. Lifespan 10 to 20 years. Omnivore. Widely spread around the planet. 
This kind of parrot lives across the entire world. They talk much, but say very little. They usually work together with human pirates, natural born thieves, founders of the Liberation Font. It says, the num num parrot. This the kind num of num parrot lives across the entire world. They talk much, but say very little. They usually work together with human pirates, natural born thieves, founders of the Liberation Front. Huh? Mean birdie num num. I love how the bird has a hook too, like really? Really drives in the point about them being a pirate. Look, this bird seems pretty smart. It isn't. Trust me. Move on, Miss Fortune. How do you know? Yo, this voice guy is so judgmental. I can't stand him. It says, Owl Delicious. These owls normally hang near libraries, bookstores, and coffee shops. Although they seem incredibly smart, their huge self-centered lifestyle drives them to gather useless information. They live off a pension. <laughs> Funny bird. They sound very narcissistic to me. Goodbye. Somehow I feel offended by this bird. Don't be. It doesn't know what it's doing. Okay. Yes, it does. It's flipping the bird. Come on, man. Animals are not that stupid. It says, Fuck it, this Bye. Bird. This Bye. Bye. <laughs> right, with different partners, leaving behind dysfunctional offspring. They don't care about anything as long as they are occupied by mindless entertainment. Oh, really? Yo, this game is dumb wild. Fuck Idilius this shit is. Yo, I love this game. You know what? I'm calling it right now. This is my favorite game that I played this year. Favorite game in 2022. That's it. This moment right here is epic. I love it. Why would I steal bird seeds? You know what? Yeah, why not? Just in case. I'll take the seeds because I want to feed the birds so they're not hungry. Bet. Just in case if I find some crazy, mysterious, mystical bird or some shit, knowing how this game is. Well, so much to see and do. Find the wolf area so we know where to go. I think the zoo is about to close. So the wharf area would be right here. There. You see? But the wolf is. Great job. Let's hurry up now. Alright, let's head on. Let's head on out to see the wolf. Is that uh -huh. Venus? I'm feeling really annoyed. Like a lot. What's Why? happening to me? I smell hormones waking up inside you. What? Homos? No. Homos. <laughs> Homos. Ah, okay. What's that? Your body's preparing to create life inside you. You get a lot of new feelings that are completely normal. Ah, okay. And you'll bleed for three to five days from your vagina. Ew, yikes forever. I you agree. You'll suffer each month for many, many years. And society will treat you like garbage. Damn. Are you for real? Yes, I am. I think I need some emergency glitter. <laughs> ah, so much better. Wow, that is some realest shit ever. And obviously that line did not age well, especially with what's going on today with Roe vs. Wade. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.